But let's say that as we're doing this, we, even though we're in the same position, let's go right here. We're in the same position. We do this. I block right here. Now, as soon as I do this, Mr. Zerlock gets out of town. If you know, I want you to notice something. Let's slow it down and show you that that, in all actuality, is also an escape to that type of bar lock. So if I put it in this position right here, watch what Mr. Zarlock does. If he bends his elbow in and under, it stops and counters the uh, straight arm bar lock. So we'll do it in a, in a rather low flow procedure so you can see the, see the action. I, I call it low, uh, slow flow. You see how the escape was done? He went with the pressure and escaped out. Let's, let's get, we're getting right here. Now I'm in this position. I, I, I block and I start my lock. Mr. Zarlock comes out of it by stepping back and clearing and, and hooking underneath my lock. Now when he comes underneath, he's got a couple options here. He can block right here. He can go to a wrist lock if he'd like. Double rip. Now you can go to that one. You can go to that one. Yes, beautiful. I've got arthritis. That's okay. Now, or he can go to down a little further. Now he can go to an arm block position this way. He's got a few options depending on the density and the positioning of my body. In other words, the closer or the further I am, the different the application is. So there's no break in time or rhythm. So it's not a static training. He has three or four choices, main choices he can make as he goes through this particular set.